Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a little bit of a haul. It's not many books, just because books are really expensive. And I went to Barnes and Noble, which I'm not proud of. There is like a used bookstore by me that I just found. So I'm really excited to shop there more. But yesterday I was just having an off day and just really wanted to go to Barnes and Noble because I haven't been I can't even remember the last time I've been to Barnes and Nobles. So I had my little shopping spree yesterday and I want to show you guys the books that I got. There is my dog in the background, Charlie. <laughs> Moving around back there in case you see. Hi. Also, I'm really upset because it's overcast and dark outside, even though it's like 2 p.m. Uh, so I'm sorry. Oh, I thought that was thunder. That was just someone's car. But I'm sorry it's a little bit dark. There's really nothing I can do about it, but hopefully my next video won't be like this. So we're gonna get started. I have this lovely bag of books here with me. And I forgot to bring my reusable bag as well. So it's really flopping, but we're gonna get started. I'll reuse this bag. Again, kind of like a random assortment of genres and types of books. I do tend to stay away from like YA novels and fantasy and mystery and magic and all that kind of stuff. So it all kind of falls under like historical fiction, nonfiction, biographies, that kind of stuff. That's what I like to read. So where do we start? I will start with this classic novel. I really want to get more into classic novels and kind of read the books that everyone's read and everyone talks about. I feel left out sometimes. I found this cute little section in Barnes & Noble of some classics and I saw this one and I don't think I've ever read The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain so that is the first book that I have and of course there were all the romantic classic novels and I just wasn't really in a romantic mood. I wanted more of an adventure story so I picked up Tom Sawyer. These were only like five bucks so definitely want to go back and keep making my way through all the classics just so I can feel caught up and they're classics for a reason they've got to be good right so excited for Mr. Tom Sawyer next book I picked up is Sing Unburied Sing by Jasmine Ward this has been on my list for a sorry I'm also sick so <coughs> I sound kind of funny today this has been on my list for a really really long time I've always wanted to pick this up and read it I've heard such good things about it although I didn't really know what it was about Part ghost story, part road novel, this historic National Book Award winner is a dazzling journey through Mississippi's past and present and an epic tale of hope and survival. So, uh, it's also pretty short, so I should get through this pretty quickly. I just looked at the copyright and this was in 2017, so I'm pretty late to the game, but thought I'd read it anyway. So, Sing Unburied Sing. Kind of a lighthearted book. I usually don't read lighthearted books. I like kind of deeper darker material but i saw this and could not pass it up this is the secret diary of hendrick grown 83 and a quarter years old i'm hoping it's like a light fun read it's kind of like it's different diary entries i guess from this 83 and a quarter year old man and he sounds like a great time i'm really really stoked for this book i'm excited for every book why would you get a book that you're not excited about but yeah, hopefully gonna read this to kind of break up the sadder books that I have to read, so excited. Talking about darker books, I got 12 Years a Slave by Solomon Northup. Like I mentioned in my last video, I really wanna kind of delve into slavery in the South and read kind of firsthand accounts of slaves and learn more about their lives and their stories. And so I saw this and could not pass it up. I did see the movie back when it came out, but I can't really remember specifics about it. But it is about Solomon. It's an autobiography, which I didn't even know. I didn't even know that 12 Years a Slave was like a real story. I thought it was just the movie. I had no idea it came from a book, came from a real man's story, Solomon. So uh, he was a free African-American living up north and then was captured and brought into slavery in Louisiana. Uh, I think in the 1820s. I believe this was published in 1853. It's a bit short, but I really do want to take my time with this book uh, and really soak it all in. So I'm really, really eager to read this. And I know it's going to be a difficult read, but 
I'm probably going to wait a little bit just because I did read a story about slavery um, and I want this one to have its own time. So 12 Years a Slave. This is The Red Leather Diary by Lily Koppel, reclaiming a life through the pages of a lost journal. So you guessed it, really excited about this one. I randomly saw this. This, co this copy is a little bit messed up, but it was the last one, so I had to get it. But apparently there was this red leather diary that was found in a dumpster in New York. I think by Lily. I think this like young author found it. And she ended up tracking whose diary it was. I think her name is Florence. And she's now like 90 years old, but this diary was written about in the 20s and 30s in New York City. Like Great Gatsby. It just reminds me of Great Gatsby. So a uh, little quote even says, a world straight from the pages of an F. Scott Fitzgerald novel. So I cannot wait to read the stories of her life through the Roaring Twenties into the Great Depression, I'm assuming, and wartime. And there are a lot of photos that are included, which I think adds so much to someone's life story where you can actually picture the people and the places and things. So this looks absolutely incredible. I'll let you guys know. I obviously how I feel about each of these novels, but The Red Leather Diary. So I had that stack and I had about two or three other paperback books that I was going to get to make it a bit of a larger haul because I know those are more fun. But then I saw this book. Um, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Grinnell or Grinnell, but I like Grinnell better. So I wandered into this section of Barnes & Noble that I didn't even know existed. It's kind of it was by like the mugs and the candles and it was like this wildlife section which is right up my alley and so I found this and really didn't want to like it. I didn't want to get it because it is really expensive but I could not not get this, you know. So uh, America's environmental pioneer and his restless drive to save the West. This is by John Taliaferro. And I've never heard of this man. Uh, it's like a biography about his life. Uh, he was born in Brooklyn in 1849. He found himself with Custer in the Black Hills, helped him map Yellowstone. It says, seasons spent among the Plains Indians, produced numerous articles and books. Uh, he worked with Theodore Roosevelt. He paved the way for the Endangered Species Act of 1973. How amazing can someone's life get? Again, this also includes photos of his life and the people he met and all the expeditions and stuff, which is just absolutely incredible. And I did minor in biology in college and took wildlife classes, took conservation biology, um, evolutionary biology. And so this is something I'm personally very interested in. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea and it is a rather large book, but I cannot wait to dig into this and to learn a lot about someone that I don't even know anything about. And I'm probably not gonna get to this for a while just because I kind of wanna get through some other smaller books first, but I cannot wait, I'm so excited. So yeah, I had to put the other paperback books back on the shelves, sadly, uh, in order to be able to purchase this one, but I think it'll be really worth it. So that is my last book. And that is my little haul. Again, I know it's not that many books, but like I've said, books are really expensive. But I will definitely be hitting up more used bookstores um, in the future. So that is my haul. Let me know what you guys think of these books. If you've read them, your opinions. If you found a new book maybe you want to get, that'd be awesome. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.